All right, this is going to be a relatively quick, simple video, I hope. We're going to work on the Robotron Mini over there, and it's about time that we put the back door on. Um, a lot of other things have been completed so far, and we don't have much more to go, so I figured we're going to put the back door on while I wait for the front coin door. I've got some wiring to do there, but let's go ahead and put this on. So I've picked up a piano hinge here, and they call this a continuous hinge. You can pick these up at Home Depot. I'm going to see if this works. This one is 30 inches long, and I'll show you how much of it actually takes up. Um, I think this was probably about 10 bucks or so. Um, you don't need to put a hinge on, but hey, we'll see if we can get it to go. So there we go. It sits about there on that door, and it takes up a, the most of the door. So hopefully that works. We're just going to mount that and then mount it onto the back and fingers crossed this is nice quick easy job. So our back door is about 47 and 3 8 inches long and our hinge is 30 inches long so I'm just going to center it on there. Um, and the way we're going to mount this, if we look at this hinge, you can see that we've got a flat part here and then the hinge sits here. So we can turn this hinge. if we that way it completely goes closed if we go the other way it doesn't quite go all the way so we're going to sit it with the hinge part on the outside of the cabinet so we're just going to lay it down flat like that and then what we're going to be able to do is when we open the door we can practically open it 180 degrees if we need to get in there for anything okay so that's going to be the idea there and I'm just going to make a couple quick marks on where to put this. And we'll see if I need to put some pilot holes in for the screws. And then we're just going to screw this on in theory, right? That's all. We'll make sure that there's room for the hinge. And we'll be good. I always try to get away without drilling pilot holes because I'm lazy. But I'm reading the instructions here. And yep, sure enough, it says drill 1 16th inch pilot holes. So we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is make a mark here. Um, if we remember, it's about 47 and 38, so I'm going to go 47 and a quarter for making my math easy. Uh, and so that means we need to have, to split the difference, we've got a 30 inch uh, hinge here. That means we've got 17 and a quarter inches. So to get to 17, we've got eight and a half. So to split that, we've got eight and a half for our 17 and then another eighth to that quarter. So we're going to be at eight and five eighths. So we're going to put a little mark right about there. That way we have a place to line up our hinge. Let's get our tape measure out of the way. I've got the hinge folded over so that it'll sit here like that. So we got our hinge. Oh, I put the mark in the wrong spot. Well, not really in the wrong spot. I just wanted to hide it. Erase that. Clean that off later. And go with it about here. Okay. So we've got our holes. I'm just going to mark all my holes in case my hinge moves. So we're using a 1 16th drill bit here. You don't need to go too far. And then we'll just come down the line and do a bunch of them. So what I'm going to do now is actually put that first screw in. See if you can see this. They're not very big screws. Of course it's not going to focus them zoomed in, but they're little screws. Put that there. I'm going to put this in. Doesn't need to be super tight, but that's now going to hold this in place for the rest of them. And now I can just go ahead and finish all of my pilot holes.
So the hinge is on the door and installed. The next thing we have to do is come over here, back of the cabinet, and put it on the back of the cabinet. Uh, before I do that, though, I'm going to take out the monitor and I'm going to take out the monitor plexi because I got another one. And I'll show you why here in a second. Not that there's anything wrong with it, it's just we tweaked it a little bit. Um, and we'll then install the door. So let's take things out real quick. Hopefully I've got enough slack here to do this. So the monitor comes out like so. Just slides in. We've got enough slack here for now. I love that feature about these and we're gonna take out this plexi fast. So if we look here at the plexi, it has squared corners. And then let me get the other one. So here's the other one and this one has rounded corners for the monitor. What basically happened is when we, we made this we forgot to cut out that center portion for those rounded corners in the file. Whoops! No big deal. Uh, so we've got another one here. And we're just going to go ahead and we'll put that in, and then we'll put the monitor back in, and uh, away we go, right? Monitor plexi is back in, and you know, I think it's time. Is it time? I think it's time. Do I pull the plastic off this brandy new monitor? I think it might be time, because the plexi's in. I'm closing the back door. Everything's nice and clean on that side. I think it's time. This is very exciting. I've been waiting a while to do this. Can you tell? I mean, it's like pulling, I don't know. It's like getting a brand new something or other. I can't even think of a reason why this is exciting, but it's exciting. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and do this. All right, I think it's finally time. I think it's finally time to pull the plastic off of the brand new monitor for the Robotron Mini that we've been building. It's very exciting. This is a thir uh, sharper image, 13 inch monitor, brand new, right out of the box. And we're gonna go ahead and pull the plastic off. I don't know why this is exciting. This is exciting. It's a very momentous uh, moment in this arcade monitor's history, I suppose. I don't know. All right, let's go ahead and we're gonna, we're gonna pull it off. Maybe we'll pull it off nice and slow as it rips into pieces because it's old plastic but I want to put fingerprints on it I wonder if the plastic's gotten warm because I've had the monitor on maybe that's why it's sticking to it that's coming off. I thought it'd be worse. Look at this. Brand new monitor. No burn. Clean. Shiny. This is a find. Maybe we'll get it off. Here we go. Ah, so satisfying. It's kept all the dust off of it while I've been working on it. You can even see some of the dust lines over there on the side. There we go. Look at that. Nice brand new monitor. Okay, let's go ahead and put it back in the game. All right, here we go with the monitor. Just slides in. Of course, these wires in the way would help if they were there.
Really? <laughs> okay, here we go. Stay. Don't move. Now it's in. Ta-da! There we go. Monitor is in. That was ridiculous. It should not have taken two minutes to do, but it did. Okay, now it's time for the back door. All right, the next thing to do is to put this door in place, and I'll show you how this is going to sit in here. So we'll pick this door up. It's going to sit in here, something like this. And what I'm going to need to do is just raise the bottom up a little bit so that it doesn't rub. And we'll try to square this up best we can. And then we can put the, the door on. And I'll mark our holes and we're good to go. So I've got a couple paint sticks I'm going to use to prop it up and mark my holes. We'll get a couple pilot holes drilled and then we'll go ahead and put this on. Okay, does that make does that make sense? Does that make sense? Is that gonna stay? Don't fall. You guys see that okay? Watch it fall while I'm filming. Okay, yep. There it is. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. I don't know. It's also it's also nap time is over. You're making noise. Let's see, we we could talk to him. Hey buddy, are you up? Are you awake from your nap? Yeah. You are. Do you want a snack? Yeah. Okay, I'll come get you for a snack. What do you want for a snack? Yeah, yeah that's it. All right, anyway, it's snack time for the little guy. So I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna button this up later. You may miss a couple things here and there, but let me go over this again real quick, just in case I don't film it. We're going to raise the bottom up just a little bit. We're gonna use some, some paint sticks, okay? Just to raise it up enough. We've got plenty, a much, plenty gap up here at the top. And there's a big gap there, so we'll raise this up a little bit and make sure that gap's okay. And then we're just going to do the same thing we did. We'll put our pilot holes in, put our screws in, and we're done. So, let's go end nap time, and we'll finish the door up later. So here are the no. painting sticks that I've used. And I've got a little kid in the background eating his snacks. You might hear him. He wanted me to turn... The neon lights on because he likes watching the colors change. So we've put some lights up down here in the basement. But there we go. So I've got those painter sticks kind of holding it up. We've put the bottom in first, then did the top, and then I went through and I drilled all my pilot holes. Now I just need to put the screws in, and then I can take out the two sticks as we focus slowly. Slowly. It's hard to focus on black. There you go. And we'll be good to go. So that is the next step. Okay. All right, this just about wraps up the door. We've got our hinge on. We took our two paint sticks out. And now all we need to do is we can open the door and it opens all the way so we can get the monitor in and out. And then it closes. And what I need to do now is come up with a latch. Either I'll use a screw like we do in the back of all the games or I'll put a latch somewhere yeah. in here. There's yeah. my little buddy in the background going, yeah, yeah. So there we go. Thanks again for watching. And if you guys have any questions, uh, please feel free to let me know and we'll continue this another day.